On our anniversary, my husband introduced me to his mistress. This is Katie, my virtual girlfriend. Huh? Then he dragged a huge screen into the bedroom and said that Katie would sleep with us. This girl knows how to entertain me. <gasps> virtual girlfriend? That was funny. And I reminded my husband that there was no one better than me. Turn off that screen and I'll show you what I can do. But Ben just pushed me away. Katie prepared my favorite anime and cosplay. Plus, what can he offer me after 10 years of marriage? Spaghetti, melodrama, and yourself in a dressing gown. Ben then showed me a special schedule. <gasps> the days he spent with Katie and the ones with me. Today is her turn. You sleep on the couch. Hmm? <sighs> the perfect beauty smiled mockingly at me from the screen. And I couldn't even do anything because she wasn't real. <sighs> In the last 10 years, our relationship had become routine. And we were more like friends than a couple. Still, I wasn't about to share Ben with a virtual girl. First, I went on a strict diet. It was difficult because I really loved to cook. But in order to save our marriage, I had to give up my hobby. Soon, my body changed. But it wasn't enough. I decided mm. to copy Katie's bright image and order a tiny styled outfit, colored lenses, and a wig. Now I was ready to compete with her. Konnichiwa, dear! Let's change the schedule and spend the evening together. Ben was thrilled and immediately turned Katie off. We did it for the first time in several years. But his male power failed to come through. My husband explained that he was used to Katie's curvy body, and I looked too real for him. Don't be upset. We can hug and watch a movie. Katie will take care of it for you. Ben realized his words hurt me and tried to fix things in a very unusual way. He put his new VR tactile suit on and suggested that Katie should join us. <gasps> huh? Physically, I'll be with you, just like you want. But visually, I'll be with her. Everything will work. That was even more humiliating. I felt like I was losing my husband. The following evening, I decided to go to extremes. I bought foam pads for my breasts and hips, so my body would be similar to Katie's. I looked as unrealistic as possible, but it worked. After that, I no longer took off the costume at home, and our family life got better. Ben even agreed to attend a cooking masterclass with me, but on one condition. Hmm? You will be wearing this costume and pads, won't you? I love them. I felt <gasps> stupid looking like that. However, cooking with my husband was more important to me. I agreed. But soon enough, I regretted it. Hmm? The costume didn't allow me to cook properly. The hair bothered me, and it was hard to see with those lenses. Ben didn't help either. He got bored quickly and found a secluded closet for us to have fun. Let's get naughty like we're 20 again. Then we'll cook something together. But even before we got in the closet, the teacher caught us. 
It started raining on the way home. My scene anime costume got wet. My feet hurt because of the hills. And so did my eyes from the lenses. Still, that wasn't the worst of it. I got cold and ended up with a fever. I couldn't think about stockings or dresses and throw away the extremely tight pads. Surprisingly, Ben didn't mind. He took care of me like never before. And when I was in the mend, he stunned me by stating, You get sick because of my whims. It won't happen again. Now you'll forever be my wife for the soul. And Katie, funny body. I was shocked. Ben went too far. An anime doll can't replace a wife. You can no longer distinguish between reality and virtuality. I didn't need a three-way relationship, so I packed my things and left. I used to do my best to please Ben, but now I was determined to take care of myself. I quit my diet and started my own cooking blog. Then I prepared the divorce papers and sent them to Ben. I thought he would sign them right away, because I was sure that Katie would be able to replace me in every aspect. After all, he didn't even call me since I left. However, the following day, my husband knocked on my door. <gasps> Please, give me one more chance. Ben confessed that at first he was happy without me and having fun with his perfect Katie 24 hours a day, but soon became addicted to his virtual wife. He even stopped going to work just to spend more time with her. Once he got fired, he started gaining weight. Which resulted in serious health problems. My husband lied there with a migraine and pain all over his body. Yet there was no one around, except for a large monitor. Katie, I don't feel well. Call an ambulance. Why an ambulance? I'll be your nurse. That's when Ben realized that Katie was just a perfect picture. She couldn't actually care and love. The divorce papers brought me back to reality. And I finally lost the desire for a perfect body. Ben repented, but I wasn't ready to get back together with him so quickly. Prove that you have changed with actions, not words. As it turned out, my husband was ready to do it. First, Ben deleted Katie from all of his gadgets. Then he went back to work. Started going to the gym. And taking care of himself. He also became a regular reader of my blog. Shortly after, Ben asked me out on a date at our house. Where a romantic dinner with a delicious food awaited me. Plus, instead of a big screen in our bedroom, there was a brand new bed. Ben stopped avoiding marriage problems. He was willing to work on our relationship to maintain it. So I gave him one more chance. A relationship is like a plant, which needs understanding for sunlight, love like water, and trust as air. <laughs>